Hi there, how's it going? This is Cross the Rubicon channel. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment and share this video everywhere. Today is the 21st of May. Now, as most of you will know, especially in New Zealand, my mush is all over the news today. Every media outlet as a far right white supremacist. And have a guess who's this, who this is being driven by. The Maori Party in New Zealand. And why are they driving this? is because I'm making noises about Hei Pua Pua in New Zealand, the most dangerous document in New Zealand. Debbie Nariwa Paka is a minister in government, the co-leader of the Maori party, would you believe? And she is spreading this hate of me, real hate, real Marxism and fascism against me. Do you know why she's doing that? Because they have no answers for what I am saying about a poor, poor and radical extremist super elite Maori at the very top of the tree, ripping this country off for billions and billions, getting richer and richer and richer on the backs of the taxpayer. And because of say, I'm saying this, well, they've come for my job. So they've started this petition. And they've gone to my employer and told them to sack me. The Maori Party, a political power, a political party in power in New Zealand. This is an absolute disgrace. But this is the power they have. This is what happens when you give them billions upon billions upon billions and billions over the years. This time last year, Jacinda Ardern gave Maori or Maori causes nine hundred million dollars less than a year ago because Maori apparently were disproportionately affected by COVID. Two days ago, Jacinda announced, Would you believe she's going to give Maori another nine hundred million dollars? And why is that? Oh, because Maori are disproportionately affected by COVID. Would you believe this? And you know what? Not a single peep out of the media. Nothing. The media in New Zealand are so gutless and cowardly when it comes to issues of Maori. It's a fact of life. They will not question it. Nothing. There is zero accountability. Maori elites, super elites, are given this money, hundreds and hundreds of millions of taxpayers' money with no accountability whatsoever. They have no idea where this money is going. And when you point this out, like I'm pointing this out, well, I've become a super white supremacist, far right white supremacist, who spreads hate and is trying to cause some kind of terror attack on Maori. This is what they are saying about me because I'm telling you the truth of what is happening in New Zealand. That not one single journalist in this country will actually ask. I have no doubt that behind Debbie Na Nariwa Packer, Willie Jackson and Rawiri Waititi will be behind this too. Get him sacked. Get Lee Williams sacked. Go to his employer and threaten his employer. Or we will brand them employers of white supremacists. This, these people are behind my standing down today from my job. They are sending out the chilling effect. People where I work, which are well over a thousand people, will see what happened to me today. A lot of people will call me far right white supremacist because they believe what they see in the media because they're because they're well, they're just a bit stupid. Others of my opinion and slightly of my opinion will be in fear of calling out what the Maori are doing in this country in cahoots with Jacinda Ardern. They are ripping this country apart. And if you question it like I've done then they will come for your job like they did to Lee Williams cross the Rubicon. They are sending out a message to New Zealand. Either you shut up 
or we will come to your job and we will get you sacked. They are that powerful. I have no doubt I will get the sack. No doubt at all. Because these people will keep pressuring my employer to get me sacked. That is what is happening in New Zealand. Hey, poor, poor. The document I've recently covered in my videos is the most dangerous document in New Zealand. It is going to hand over half of the power in New Zealand to Maori. They make 15% of the population and they're going to get 50% of the control. They haven't got that now, but look at the power they've got. So they're going to hand over 50% of control of this country and the wealth, all the resources, water, air, electricity, your house, everything to these people. These super elites. Maori in the street won't get nothing. The Maori that I work with won't get nothing. They'll be ripped off. They will all be ripped off. Apart from the super Maori elites. Jacinda Ardern is ripping this country apart. And the media say zero. Nothing. Crickets. Because the media are gutless cowards. My face is all over the New Zealand Herald. News Hub. Stuff. Everywhere. White supremacist this. White supremacist that. Because I'm saying what the media refuses to say. Because they are cowards. Not one single journalist will say it. Because their jobs will be gone. That's how powerful Maori have become in New Zealand. Okay, that's what I've got to say about this. But remember, it's me today. It will be you tomorrow. And after tomorrow, it will be your kids somewhere down the line. Because these super elites are getting more and more and more powerful. Your kids one day will be second and third class citizens in New Zealand if they're not married. That is a fact. So there you have it. You can call me whatever you want. Far right, far right, far right, because you have nothing else. The people below this video in the comments, you truly are ignorant to call me a white supremacist. You have no idea unless you're on the Maori bandwagon and you're fully supportive of Debbie Nari Nariwa Packer and Rewiti, Rewira Waititi and Willie Jackson because they are ripping you off as well as everybody else. Okay, that's me. This is Cross the Rubicon. Please like, leave a comment, share and subscribe. See you later.